nobody bought us gas. This is a statement of Churchill Show comedian YY clarifying the story that comedian Paul Wakemani was saying that uh, Churchill alienda place akawabaya magari. As you all know, Churchill Show was one of the biggest comedy show in the country. Rumors have been coming out that Churchill Show has not been paying them like the comedians well. And, and some of the comedians going even completely broke to the point that Hawanata Chakula and somewhere to stay. Some of these comedians have even passed away from alcoholism like this guy Alkwanito Kase. And there were rumors that depression of being celebrities without having money caused all this back to the story of Churchill buying his comedians cars. For an interview with Plug TV, Kimani revealed that one day Churchill aliwaita somewhere akawakalisha chini and he went ahead and asked them uh, what do they desire to be given since most of them have been complaining that how are vizuri like they are supposed to. And then some of them wakasema onataka magari and some of them pesa. So Churchill akawa separate and went ahead and gave them each whatever they desired. Wale wa pesa wakapewa 300,000 each to go and start their comedy uko mashinani but that part didn't sit right with me. So Churchill aliwambia waende kuta, kufanya comedy outside Nairobi. Uh, why would uh, he, he say that? Because the, the Nairobi industry is so big. Doesn't that show that uh, Churchill is greedy or something? Anyways, I guess he likuwa uongo ama ya something. Kwani hawezi like kufanya wote wakiwa Nairobi. Anyways, that's just a by the way. So wakapewa 300,000 each waende wafanya content in their different towns and then wale wa magari wakapele kwa showroom and then wakanunulio magari zao. And so he says some of them like some of those comedians are hii bado wakonezo magari pia. Hmm. That shows that Churchill is a good master and he helped them. Yay. One day, eh, Churchill haka tweet ama comedians wote. Kasama wa watoto wangu we. Tukutane wapi, tukutane langata. Satisa. Kila mtu wakakuja satisa langata. Alifika at 4. At 7 p.m. is when the meeting started. Daka uliza. Nini watu muna shidanga, muna gombana, gombana. Ati oh, siwa lipi vizuri, oh, sijui, there is something, siwa support, oh, nini, nini, nini. What is this thing that you want me to do for you guys? Nanta wafanyia leo hii. Watu, oh, tunataka magari, oh, tunataka nini. Akasema watu wa magari simameni yuko. Watu wa magari wakasimama pale moja. Nyinyi watu wengine mmekaa hivi mlangoja nini? Tukasema sisi tupatie pesa tuende tukafanye show. Jamaa alichukua karatasi na akaandika majina zetu zote na akatugawa kwa groups na akasema shikeni 300k 300 300 300 300 300 and then... Well let's not clap because why why comedian ame come out akasema on his Instagram story uh, akasha, akashanga like why the heck is Kimani Paul saying all this like akasema this and I quote let me clarify because a lot of people are asking no one bought us gas like no one Paul you can't make uh, people look that ungrateful for whose interests is all this showroom story well that story has taken a twist quick fast now it got me wondering is Paul Kimani lying to please Churchill am I why will he say such a thing like why would you lie with uh, such big claims but why why did not stop there because he said this comedians can't talk because they will look like they are fighting Churchill and everyone is so careful looking for a specific angle to reply to this story the direct answer is nobody waters cars Sijui Mali Paolo ametoi this story that actually answers my question. If we were anasema that comedian one comedians wana ogopa kuongea against Churchill, it means Paul Kemani anaonge evil to please Churchill and to get into his good side, which is not right, maze. Call a spade a spade. No matter what the situation is, kama ye aliomoka kawaacha kwa mta, call him out. Muna mwagopa nini sasa. It shows that uh, easy stories out zanye Paul wa Kemani alikuwa anasema ni stories are jabba and nothing like that ever happened. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. Until next time, guys. Peace out.